The month was August. I was enjoying myself in Poland with my girlfriend. The weather was perfect. I spent around three weeks traveling around Poland. I simply fell in love with my beautiful girlfriend and her beautiful country. After returning to the US and going back to school, fall quickly came. November was here. I remember on the 12th, the day after Poland's Independence Day. My roommate, knowing that I went to Poland a few months prior, brought me down to his room asking why would I go to such a horrible country. He said, it's a country filled with Nazis. They had a massive Nazi march with millions of people. I said, dude, what are you talking about? He said, let me show you. He points to the screen to show an article of The Guardian and other news sites. And he shows the pictures on the site and it was just Warsaw with Patriots celebrating Independence Day. He said everything was red to symbolize the red outside the swastika flag of Nazi Germany. After telling him how he's a fool for believing that and to simply look up the flag of Poland, he then told me there were mass amounts of Nazis there. I told him that the march wasn't a Nazi march, but if there were fascists there, it would be a very small percentage of the population. Because I'm not going to deny the all Polish youth and other groups like that. And I thought this was weird and interesting that my roommate would even say this because just days prior, there was a KKK march with new Nazis walking around in the streets freely protesting. I told him that if news agencies and media companies were to come over and take pictures of that, it'd simply be overblown and people with hate would just be shown as the cover of that country. After this happened, I can't help but think of the news article that was shown just putting Poland in such a bad light. But not just this, but also people putting these ideas in their heads about Poland, just like my roommate. And after looking up other articles on the matter, all I can help but think is that the US and probably other countries, news sites, and media companies just hate Poland. They just simply don't understand it. And so the easiest thing to do is to be ignorant and spread foolish lies. Lies that Polish people are Nazis and that Polish people had Polish death camps. And smuggled him into the Warsaw Ghetto and a Polish death camp to see for himself. It is slowly hard to stand up for the U.S. and to be a patriot of this country when all there is is shame pointing your way if you do. With people calling you a nationalist and being far right when you're simply proud of your homeland. Making it an evil act that people shouldn't do. When I was a kid, I remember wearing a U.S. flag t-shirt and going to a parade and having a barbecue and fireworks after. And while that's still a thing today, I don't remember the hatred of loving your country until recently. Just to be frank, I'm not saying that the U.S. or Poland is the best country in the world, but at least shows some respect for those who fought and died for it. Another point is that people don't realize how recently Poland's independence was. People don't respect the fact that the grandparents of today's Poles dealt with at least World War I, World War II, German Nazis, Communists, post-war communism, and then cleaning up the mess. Only for the same people to be never acknowledged with anything they ever did to fight for today's Poland. Even some countries today. They don't realize that 450,000 Poles died during World War I and at least 6 million died during World War II. They don't realize they had almost nothing but patriotism and bravery. The same patriotism and bravery that carries over to today's marches. They just don't understand the history because they want to scare people into their politically correct ideologies, even at the cost of lies. I believe whoever you are, whatever race you are, you should respect and honor your ancestors and do what is right moving forward. Simply put, love yourself and everything you are. So what do I see on the 11th of November? I see a proud nation, a nation that is happy they never surrendered, who just recently gained independence. A group of people who stood up against evil with very little help and still came out the other end.